If you've been playing Valorant and you've been confused on exactly how you should be peaking angles to give you the best advantage, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly how you should be peaking angles and, depending on the situation, how you should change up your peaking style. Well, there has been some diagrams online. I'm going to break it down like a true professional in MS Paint to make it as easy as possible for you to understand. So do me a favor, if you find this video even the least bit interesting, smash that sub button. We're pumping out double daily uploads. But all that being said, let's just jump right into it, shall we? So the first thing I'm going to show you is I have a baseline MS Paint drawing that I already have set up. And for some of you, this is going to look kind of familiar. It's sort of like Shadows and Bind, but it's going to be a little bit different to really show you exactly the point I'm making. And I'm really going to try to make it as clear and concise as possible so that you know exactly how to peek an angle. So let's say that you're the attacker here. We already have the defender set up and he's behind this corner. He's in red. He's hiding in this corner because he's a camper and he's terrible. No, I'm just kidding. He's hiding in this corner because he thinks that he can get an easy kill on you. And it's worked in the past for him. So this is where he's hiding. Now, of course, you could check every single corner with utility, but no one always wants to check every corner with utility because then you're not going to have it for later on. Here is the problem that a lot of players actually do each and every time they're peeking an angle that's really messing them up. So let's say this is the hallway that you're walking through. Your team is funneling through here, or maybe it's just you. Let's actually use this instead. Maybe it's just you and you're funneling through here and you want to check this angle. If you hug all the way down here, which happens a lot, let's make this guy a little bit bigger. You hug all the way right here right? If you start peeking this angle right here, but you hug this wall, what do you think is going to happen? The problem is by the time you see him. So right here, neither of you could see each other, but you can't see, you can only see this corner. You can't see him at all. By the time you eke this line to see him, you're going to have to move your body in a way that a good percentage of it is already being seen by him before you could see him at all. And this is the problem. It all has to do with the pivot point, the point of rotation right here. Because you are closer to this point of rotation that he is, this distance, of course, this tidy distance, which is like not even a distance at all, his is farther away. So he's going to see you relative much, much sooner than you're going to see him, which means that you're going to be peaking, especially if you're slow peaking this angle, you're essentially going to be peaking an angle where the enemy gets to see you first by a pretty large margin. Now, you might be asking, okay, that might be true, so what can I do to counteract this? What can I do if I want to peek this guy? Well, all you have to do is increase that angle, increase the distance, increase your distance from the pivot point is what I'm going to call it, even though that's probably not what it's called and what the heck did I just do? Okay, so now let's show you exactly what the exact same peek looks like if you're peeking it from a far much farther angle, okay? So you're peeking it farther. If you're peeking from all the way over here, you're going further and further along. Let's look at let's look at this sight line right here. Okay. You're right here. Look where you are. You've walked all the way up here. Look where you are. I, I know my lines are extremely not straight, and I'm a great artist, by the way. Look and see how much you could see him, and you're not even in his LOS yet. Now, of course, these lines aren't perfectly straight, but you get the idea. Because you're further from the point, the pivot point than he is, if you're slow rotating and slow peaking it, not slow rotating, if you're slow peaking it, you will see him before he sees you. This is so important for you to understand because if you check this angle close, you're putting yourself at an inherent disadvantage versus checking this angle long. Okay, now you might be asking, okay, I want to check him long, but what do I do if I want to check this corner and I don't have a long range weapon? Maybe I have an SMG like a Stinger, or maybe I have a pistol, or maybe I have a shotgun or something like that. Can I peek short? Is there any advantages to peeking short? Is it always good to peek long? And it's not always good to peek long. It, you bring up a good point if you are asking those questions, because the thing is, there is an advantage to peeking short, but it depends on the scenario. So here is the best way for me to fully show you what the advantages of peeking short. If you are right here, right, and you're moving five steps out, sprint speed, let's say you sprint speed, five steps out, this much, boom, okay? Now, let's say you're all the way back here and you move five steps out, right? All the way over here. Now, the same distance, but this is the rotation that he has to make for this one. And this is the rotation that he has to make for this one. Now, notice this difference in degrees right here. This little mid ground. This means that if you're closer, the closer you are to the pivot point, the more the enemy is going to have to actually flick to see you or shoot you. And if you're farther away from the pivot point, the less they're going to have to flick. Now, against certain guns, this isn't going to matter as much. And against other guns, it's going to matter a lot more. And it also depends on your effective range. So, for example, if the enemy has an op, peeking extremely far and slow peeking, if you have even a Vandal or an assault rifle or anything like that, 
Sure, you might put yourself at a slight advantage peeking him far, but if it's at parity or even not that much better than this, the big problem is you're peeking this corner and the second he sees you, he can one tap you and kill you. Now, if you're hugging it extremely close and you quick peek it, quick rotate, this guy has to hit a much more difficult shot than if you rotate this far. Much, much more difficult shot. And that is why you can change your playstyle depending on what you, the enemy have. If you know they have an op, you could definitely change up your playstyle. But if you have a shotgun, something close range, moving fast and speed rotating this angle could be a lot better for you, especially because you this option is completely out of question for you. This option is not going to work out for you because if you have a shotgun against their Vandal, you're just going to get annihilated here. Now, fast peaking assault rifles is way worse than fast peaking sniper rifles, but you get the point. Proportional, the closer you are to the point of pivot before you, you move, the more the enemy is going to have to flip. Okay, so I know I've said a lot of things and I've done my best to show you in MS Paint, but let's give you a few takeaways before we close it out to really nail home exactly what these things mean for you. So here's the big takeaways that you need to understand. The closer you are when you peak, the faster you move, but the less that you'll see comparatively to a longer peak, okay? So you're gonna see more in a longer peak, but you're not gonna necessarily move faster. And I know you're moving the same speed, but to the enemy, you're moving slower when you're farther away because you're moving across their screen far less, okay? Now we're gonna talk about if the opponent is holding an angle with a sniper. So if the opponent is holding an angle with a sniper, you should try to push up as close to the pivot point as possible push up and swing in while moving towards and around them to where to where the the area that they have to flick is much larger this is how you actually make the matchup fair for you if you have something like a shotgun you don't want to take the angle far because ultimately you do not have the effective range in order to combat them even if you take a longer peek even if you see them first it doesn't matter because you cannot deal damage to them with from that range you want to take the matchup far closer and you want to swing extremely fast hoping that they miss you basically allow a higher margin of error for the enemy. Now, what if the opponent is holding the angle with something like a SMG or a rifle? What you should do is you should try to peek them standing the furthest point of angle as possible, as far back as you possibly can, if you have a rifle and an SMG as well, because that gives you first sight, that gives you first line of sight, and that can allow you to do damage to the enemy before they can do damage to you at all. This makes it more likely that you're gonna see more of them before they see any of you at all, and can give you a leg up in the matchup. All in all, I hope this video has been educational for you. If you have any questions or comments, please, please, please let me know in the comments down below because this is a really important concept for you to get right. A lot of people are slow peeking too close to the pivot point and they're getting destroyed. A lot of people are peeking long when they don't have a weapon that's in its effective range. People are understanding things that they can abuse in this game to have the best impact. Now, that being said, if you like this content and you want to see more, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. I'm going to be releasing a lot more advanced content because a lot of people have been asking for it content like this content talking about movement whether you should stand up or crouch what weapons you should use in certain scenarios complicated aspects of the game and if you like these kind of videos please let me know because i've been keeping a lot of the content a little bit lower level content but if you want me to start ramping up to more advanced content i need to know in the comments down below anyways that's all i have for you today i'm coach mills and until next time